it's still Christmas Day here while I'm um, recording this video. I know you'll get it a day after, but I just uh, was so excited over the, I'm going to call it the prepper Christmas that I've had. Um, just from some of the things that my my wonderful family and uh, friends have gifted me uh, in honor of Jesus during this holiday season. I've really, um, I'll say, expanded my preps and the likelihood that I will experience more ease and comfort in difficult situations. Or uh, when I'm out in the backwoods roughing it or just getting away from society or whatever. So, you know, we'll dig right in. You've heard me talk about, uh, in one of my previous videos, my best friend called the, the Beardless Prepper, we'll call him. Yeah, he gifted me this nice little Cabela's bag. I'm going to just kind of think about this for a little bit. It's a nice bag, has lots of pockets on it, end pockets, carry straps and a carry bag. A little nice lid with another pocket in it. I don't know if I'm going to make a like a small, maybe little fishing kit out of this or maybe an ammo bag, something like that, some kind of little range bag. Um, we'll see, because, uh, and you'll see in another video, I'm thinking about putting together what some people refer to as a, you know, a bug out uh, kit or off grid kit or emergency kit, something like that. So um, I'm sure that that may make another debut in that video, but, and then of course, one of my, my good friends, I'm gonna call her, um, I will call her the barefoot prepper. I think that's fitting. Um, very dear to my heart. She gifted me, <laughs> I would have never thought about this, but it's a U.S. Army survival manual. And uh, I've already started kind of looking through it. And, you know, it honestly, it's, um, it's really kind of a great little collection of survival tips and ideas, just very basic survival stuff. Very good thing to have in my prepper library. But, you know, you can see the... The table of contents it's not that big but um it covers all environments and everything from uh you know shelter safety protection um food water procurement things like that so thank you barefoot prepper this is a great thing to have i appreciate it very much um and then you know of course as we uh got to christmas day today i have a wonderful family i really um God has blessed me well beyond what I deserve, but they gave me some great gifts uh, this Christmas. Some things, uh, a lot of things I had on my uh, wish list. So uh, I'll show you. My lovely bride gave me quite a few things, and my my sons and daughters gave me some good things. Uh, one of the things you wouldn't think about necessarily. They're called tablet towels, tablet cloths. There's a hundred for this bag. And um, you drop them in any kind of water or liquid, and they instantly, I mean, instantly expand into, uh, into a towel this size. And it's, you know, it's not just cloth. It's, I would say it's more like a, a sturdy white material. But I love these things because they take up very little space. I'll dig one out of here. Um, like I said, there was 100. I guess this bag actually has 99 now because... I opened this one just to try it out. So they're this size. They're individually wrapped to keep them out of the water. I would say about the size of a Tums, if you will, regular Tums, but it expands out, you know, into this great towel. Um, I mean, one of my things when I'm on the trail or when I'm off grid, roughing it or whatever, uh, even, you know, sometimes you have unforeseen uh, circumstances, you need these in your in your vehicle or whatever, in your, your go kit. But you know, when I'm out in the, the mountains or roughing it, I like to, you know, I like to wash off every day. I like to take a bath, whether it be in a mountain stream or just out of a pot, you know, taking a bird bath. But these little, these little things right here will come in great because they're going to take up very little space in my pack. And, um, you know, I could throw 10 of these in my pack and have 10 of these towels and it would take up minimal space and hardly any weight. So, that was a that was a great gift idea there. Um, also, I had showed you in a previous video about you know gaining knowledge, prepping with knowledge, knowing how to make your own implements. Um, I showed you a uh, railroad spike knife that I had made, and one of the things I've been watching for a while and had on my list is some some 
comes in a little carry bag, but it came with three little plates or strips, if you will, of carbon steel. So I'm looking forward to making really a, a good size, um, you know, full tang knife out of that to see what that'll do. And it's already got a good thickness to it. It'd be interesting. That'll be another video for another day. But, um, you know, I had talked about blacksmithing skills and such. I have a good friend uh, that is extremely knowledgeable, has a pretty good setup. I'll see if he's interested maybe in partnering on a video and we'll put something together. So, and uh, you know, another something from my library, I've had this on my list for a while. It's the, uh, it's a full book about firearms, traps, tools of the mountain men. So you can never have too much knowledge plus you know, for me, for some people, it'd be a snoozer, but for me, I find this kind of stuff actually very interesting. And um, this was written by Carl P. Russell and um, has a lot of information about the frontiersmen of the day. So I'm looking forward to that. Also, I mean, actually, it was just a wallet, but, you know, I got this little tin. I'm going to use that as part of my go kit to put maybe, I don't know, maybe an emergency fishing kit or a first aid kit or, you know, fire kit, maybe with some kindling in it, some different things. We'll see. But, you know, I'm going to re-salvage that. So also, oh, I've had this on my list a while. This, this is likely going to end up in my truck or um, in my um, emergency or go kit. It's a Mora knife. These are from Sweden. These have been around for a long time and um, carbon steel blades. Very, very sharp. Um, I've seen a lot of really good reviews on these. This is one of the originals. A lot of the modern ones have rubber handles, but this one has the birch wood handle. Um, carbon steel blade. Very sharp and comes with a, a nice little hard plastic sheath with a riveted little belt loop on it. But it's a very good knife. I'm very excited about that. And uh, yeah, it's a great knife. And, you know, these are great. You can get them anywhere from, uh, I've seen them, I think maybe uh, around $20. This one, I think, was closer to upper 20s or 30. Uh, very basic knife, but very good quality. Has great reviews. I'm looking forward to trying that out. And then, uh, you know... When you talk about preps, one, one of the things I've kind of had my eye on for a while, and this is an old school thing that someone has, uh, has, you know, modernized. It's an old school, like barn roof finish lid that fits right on any, uh, small mouth canning jar, mason jar. It comes with a wick already inserted, has the little elevated, um, tube, if you will, for holding the, the wick in place. So you can put lamp oil, um, into a mason jar, quart, pint, whatever. Screw this on, you've got an instant lamp. So that's a great little thing. And it's not terribly expensive. Um, just to kind of have, you know, something for emergency uh, emergency light or emergency lamp, emergency heat, you know, if the case may be. You've seen my previous video on that. Uh, if you haven't, I encourage you to go check it out. But that's a great thing to add to my prep. So I'm really excited about that as well. And then, of course, um, I've got a great little 10 liter um, Lewis and Clark dry bag. You can never have too many of those. That's actually one thing, um, along with a, a nice heavy duty carabiner. That's one of the things that I've had on my list recently because I realized that my current dry bags are getting a bit weathered, a bit worn, um, have some holes worn in them. And, uh, you know, as such is the case, I tend to make a lot of uses out of dry bags like one is a stuff bag for my sleeping bag things of that nature um so you know that's a great little asset to have plus these things you know i've told you about bargain prepping before or prepping now for later these things are not going to get any cheaper probably so um as many of these kind of items as you can get and store up for future use you're just putting money in the bank because future prices are going to go up get them at today's prices uh so here's a cool little thing also this is an instant tripod. Comes in a nice little, um, actually well-crafted little leather pouch. And it's not flimsy. Um, but if you want an instant tripod for cooking a meal, setting up a lantern, 
whatever you might need a tripod for, this is a good option. So it comes with this little steel plate has four holes in it. And uh, you know, the three holes on the outside are for sticks. You put them in at angles, opposing angles, and then the tripod just kind of sits through this. So you've got a tripod here below that goes through these three holes. And then of course the middle hole, uh, you have a little hook on a chain. You just feed it through to the distance that you, uh, you want it to be. And then um, I actually kind of put that through backwards. Uh, has this little piece, this little hook on the other side that you feed through. And then uh, just feed it through the chain at the top so that it pulls tight. And you can make that as, as long or as short as you want and hang your pot, hang your lantern, hang whatever off of that little chain. Uh, so for just a, you know, probably a, a few ounces, I've got this little kit that all goes inside the pouch and uh, you can shove that in any thin little little pouch you have in your pocket, whatever, uh, and you've got an instant tripod. So that's a great thing. I'm really excited about that also. Oh, this is a big thing. Um, you know, in my preps, you know, I have different stages. Some people call it tiers, but um, in my long-term preps, I've given demonstrations on this channel before about sealing up uh, rice, peas, beans, you know, things like that that are dry that'll last 20 plus years um, in mylar bags if they're sealed and, tr and um, you know, packaged accordingly, appropriately. I've got a nice little book now about prepping with rice and beans. So it has uh, 105 tasty survival recipes with beans and rice. Look at that. So that'll really come in handy someday. Um, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. But, um, you know, you don't have to, to wait until a, a grid down or survival situation to have access to this kind of stuff. Plus, these kind of things would be great to even practice now. Um, maybe if you don't like beans or rice, finding some new recipes might um, change your mind. Maybe it'll, it'll change your palate. So this is a great little light here. I wasn't so sure about it at first. It was 200 lumens. Comes with a little swivel hook. Um, has magnets on the bottom to stick. This weighs almost nothing. I haven't weighed it, but I mean, it's only about an ounce or two. I mean, it's very lightweight. Um, I like the orange color. It won't get lost easy. But man, it is super bright. It says 200 lumens. I took it outside last night and uh, turned it on. And, you know, within a... 50, 75 yard radius. It was well lit. I could see everything going on. Uh, so this may actually become a good backpacking light for me, even though it's it's a larger size than I normally do. I have the, the solar lights. This runs off of two triple A's. Um, may end up again in a, in a kit that I put together. So we'll talk about that on another video. And you know, I've got, I've showed you this before, this Columbia River knife and tool tomahawk. I love this thing. It's been on a lot of great adventures with me, um, but I always had, um, and I don't see it here in front of me now, but just the plastic, little plastic covering that came on it. It still even had the little tab on it, you know, where it was hanging on the hook in the store. That's what I use to just kind of clip over it and protect the blade because, I mean, this sucker gets sharp. You don't want to be cutting up your pack. Um, if you trip and bounce around, it's on the outside of the pack. You don't want it coming and hitting you or something else and tearing it up. So I came across this little... Columbia River Knife and Tool uh, CRKT little sheath that's made just for my tomahawk. Snaps on, and look at that. Instant protection. Uh, you still got your hammer if you use it. Some people get really freaked out about using the hammer and driving things in the ground with this blade flying past your head. So that gives you a good way to protect from that as well and still use the hammer. Nice little addition. Sometimes it's the small things you don't think about that make a big difference. So I'm really fond of that. It's a good little addition for not much investment uh, that was given to me. Now here's one of the, the I would say it's the higher price items that I, I have that I'm showing you, um, but not extremely pricey. I mean, it's still very affordable for preps. And I've been wanting something like this for a while. It's a grain mill. You can see a picture of it there. I haven't put it together yet. But it has the crank handle hopper for your whatever you're grinding up the adjustable grinding uh head or feeding head there that that spits out the grain and all the grinding takes place back in here then of course a little 
um, adjustable clamp base that you can either permanently mount or uh, just mount temporarily on a board or a table or whatever. But uh, this one is nothing too fancy, but you know, it's, uh, it's durable, it's cast iron. And um, let's see, it says just on the box that it'll grind, you can set it to grind coffee, corn, herbs, wheat, and many more grains. So uh, I'm really excited to put this together and just try it out. I haven't added a lot of whole grains to my preps just because I didn't have any way of, of grinding, but this was one thing I've been wanting to get into. So thank you very much to my beautiful bride for uh, adding that to my, my gift list. You know, I've, I've had such a great Christmas. I mean, the, the biggest gift I've had is just having my whole family together today. Uh, my oldest daughter and and her husband came in. We've had a great day worshiping at church. Great meal together. Just, you know, fun time together. That's really the most Im important gift I've been giving. Second, of course, to uh, the salvation of my relationship with my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So, oh yeah, check it out. My oldest daughter and her husband gave me the first ever Bearded Prepper merch. Look at that. Brandy Coffee Cup. <laughs> has my channel logo on it and uh says the bearded prepper uh and humble servant so i uh, thank you very much i appreciate that this is something i'll treasure uh you never know uh, maybe someday uh we'll all be in this long enough together that we'll start seeing bearded prepper merchandise or, or branded other items as well so that's a treasure for me thank you very much um you know, I got some other great things from my brothers and, and different family members too. But, you know, honestly, um, having the knowledge to use them is much more important than anything else. So I encourage you guys just to, you know, expand your preps gradually. Um, you know, keep a list of things as you go throughout the year. That's one of the things that helped me um, communicate with my family. And honestly, it's a nice thing to do to them, right? I mean, we all, let's face it. We all come down to holidays or birthdays or Christmas or whatever. And we ask our, each other, you know, what do you want? What do you need? And of course, I mean, what are you going to do? You're going to say, you know, I want this, that, and the other. Some people will, but you know, most of us will just say, you know what? I, I've got so much that, that I, um, I don't really have a lot of needs, but you know, there's always these little things that we, um, see and think that'd be really cool to try out or add to our, our stockpile or our preps. So I just started a wish list. I share it with them and, um, Honestly, I would be just as happy having them with me during the holiday and not getting anything. But I'm so grateful just to get things that uh, better positions me to be prepared and to, uh, you know, to be safe. You see these little things throughout the year and you think, ah, you know, maybe uh, what with the economy, with finances, I shouldn't be spending on everything that I come across. So just start a wish list. Start a prepper wish list. Um, you can do that on Amazon if you're into that thing. You can start in a lot of different ways. I'm sure there's there's these shared lists you can set up where people can go and look and see what you really want. Um, and, you know, who would think to give you a prepping with a rice and beans book or, or just a cover for your tomahawk? Most likely not hardly anybody. I mean, um, who's going to get pick out a grain mill for your, your Christmas unless they know it's something you want? So, you know, that's a great little tip to help you with your preps. Uh, prepping can get expensive. And uh, with the economy the way it is, most of us don't have uh, a lot of discretionary funds like maybe we used to. So, um, you know, I encourage you to, you know, communicate the, the things that you want around, you know, holidays or birthdays. If that's an option for you or something you want to do, it'll help you prep and also it'll be kind to those that want to take care of you and want to give to you. Uh, and then at the end of the day, we're all happy and we're all better prepared. So... My common sense tends to tell me that that's a good option, good common sense option. So um, would love to hear about some of the great things you guys received this Christmas season. If you uh, expanded your preps through uh, a prepper Christmas as well, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, drop some comments. Let us know what you received. In the meantime, I'm going to encourage you guys to use your common sense. Be prepared. Seek the wisdom of our Lord and Savior. So until next time, Merry Christmas, God bless, I'm the Bearded Prepper, 
Signing off.